You are listening to the Adult Sabbath School Lessons for the third quarter of 2022. This is lesson number three of the Adult Sabbath School Bible Study Guide in the Crucible with Christ. This lesson is titled The Birdcage and is ready for teaching on Sabbath, July 16. The author is Pastor Gavin Anthony, who was conference president in Iceland when he wrote this series of lessons. Today, your lesson is read by Dr. Percy Harold. Monday, July 11. Bitter Waters. Exodus 17 verse 1 reads, The whole Israelite community set out from the desert of Sin, travelling from place to place as the Lord commanded. They camped at Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. Perhaps we might not get from God everything we want, but couldn't we expect to get all that we need? Not what we think we need, but what we truly need. There was one thing the Israelites certainly needed, and that was water. Just after God in the cloud led the Israelites through the Red Sea, they followed him through the hot, waterless desert for three days. Particularly in the desert, where finding water is so critical, their desperation is understandable. When would they get the water they needed? So, where does God lead them? The pillar goes to Mara, where, at last, there is water. They must have been excited, but when they tasted the water, they immediately spat it out because it was bitter. As it says in Exodus 15.24, So the people grumbled against Moses, saying, What are we to drink? Then, a few days later, God does it again. This time, however, the pillar actually stops where there is no water at all. Exodus 17, verse 1, Then all the congregation of the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin, according to the commandment of the Lord, and camped in Rephidim, but there was no water for the people to drink. Read Exodus 15, verses 22 to 27, and Exodus 17, 1 to 7. What did God reveal to Israel about himself at Marah and at Rephidim? What lessons should they have learned? Exodus chapter 15, beginning at verse 22. So Moses brought Israel from the Red Sea. Then they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Now when they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah, for they were bitter. Therefore the name of it was called Mara, and the people complained against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. When he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. There he made a statute and an ordinance for them, and there he tested them, and said, If you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve wells of water and seventy palm trees. So they camped there by the waters." And Exodus 17, beginning at verse 1, Then all the congregation and the children of Israel set out on their journey from the wilderness of sin, according to the commandment of the Lord, and camped in Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people contended with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. So Moses said to them, Why do you contend with me? Why do you tempt the Lord? And the people thirsted there for water, and the people complained against Moses, and said, Why is it you have brought us up out of Egypt to kill us and our children and our livestock with thirst? So Moses cried out to the Lord, saying, What shall I do with this people? They are almost ready to stone me. And the Lord said to Moses, Go on before the people, and take with you some of the elders of Israel. Also take in your hand your rod with which you struck the river, and go. Behold, I will stand before you there on the rock in Horeb. And you will strike the rock, and water will come out of it that the people may drink. And Moses did so in the sight of the elders of Israel. So he called the name of the place Massa and Meribah, because of the contention of the children of Israel, and because they tempted the Lord, saying, Is the Lord among us, 
or not? And so to finish the day, in Rephidim, what question did the children of Israel ask in verse 7? Is the Lord among us or not? Have you ever asked the same question? If so, why? How did you feel? And what lessons did you learn after you had it answered? How many times do we need to get it answered before we stop asking it altogether? This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. And you can listen and watch at the same time on YouTube. Remember, God is always faithful.